So questions like these look very complicated and freaks out a lot of students, but when it looks hard, it's actually really simple as long as you know what to look for. The question gives us this equation right here, and it tells us based on the function above, what is the y coordinate of the y intercept when the function is graphed on the xy plane? And we know that the xy plane is just looking like that. And because this is a very complicated function, we have no idea what the graph is going to look like. Unfortunately, this is not one of the functions you need to know for the SAT. But you do need to know what the y intercept is. And whenever you're given some kind of graph, whether it be a line or a parabola, wherever the graph intersects the y axis is known as the y intercept. And for the SAT, you need to know that y intercept is going to have a x and y coordinate and your x coordinate is always going to be zero so whatever this graph looks like it's going to hit the y axis at a certain point and we know that at the y intercept your x value is going to be zero so how do we find out the y value when x is equal to zero all we need to do is just plug it in so when we plug zero in that's going to go away that's going to go away and that's going to go away and we're only going to be left with seven over three which means our y coordinate is going to be equal to seven over three our answer is choice b